So now we're going to make a wrapped images page. I have a template that I've opened up here. I put my name uh, in the title uh, and then put wrapped images. I have it all set up. Here's the style tags all set to go. Here's the body all set to go. I've closed off the body and the HTML right down here. So we're off and running. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make a basic page with um, images floating left and right. And we're going to give those images what are called class names. So the first thing we're going to do is um, let's start off with a large heading at the top, H1. That's Again, headings are H1 through 6, H1 being the largest. Put your name and put what it is, uh, wrapped images. We're going to wrap paragraphs of Latin text around the images. So I'll close this off. You can do it. You can do it like that if you want. Um, some people like to do it like that. Doesn't really matter. I'll do it like that for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab images from Google and then save them in a folder. So so let me do this. I've already done this. I've I've gone to Google Images and I've looked up trees. And I've already downloaded some trees, but let me show you how to do this. Um, Let's say I want this one right here. So when I get to this point, I can go, I can right click on it. If you can't right click, you can hold down the control key and click. Um, but you want to get to here and you want to save image as. Save image as. And I'll click on it. And I already have a folder that I've created called Web1 Images. But if you don't, you can make a new folder like that by clicking that. You want to store everything for this assignment in a folder. Okay, I'll have all the images and the web page that's going to show those images on this in the same folder so they can find each other. Now the thing is, it's going to call be called Face in, a, in Trees Dash Illusion. Let's just call it Tree. I've already got five. I won't, I won't actually do this, but tree one dot, and then it's a JPEG. It's a JPEG image, so JPG. It has to know the file type, okay? And the JPG means it's a photograph, okay? So the computer, when you're, when you're coding it and uh, putting it on a web page, it has to know the file type. So not only the name of the file, but the file type, the dot JPG. So I've already done this, as I said. I have... If you see here, I have a folder called Web1 Wrapped Images. I have my web page that I'm starting out. I have four images, one, two, three, four. Let me make five. I'll do five. Okay, and it's in there now. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tag called the image tag, IMG uh, tag. We're gonna add something to it in the middle uh, in between the angle brackets. So to place an image on the ta on a, on a web page, we're going to do the angle bracket. And notice I'm just below the H1. Again, the HTML and the stuff in between the body is in sequential order. So this will be on top of the page, and this will be right below it. We're going to say IMG space SRC equals, and I have... Uh, five images of trees, tree tree one through five, tree one dot jpeg. Uh, one of them is a PNG. That's a that's a file type. So let me just see. Uh, I'll say tree one dot jpg, and let me just show you that this will work. Oh, I got to get my other uh, quotation marks in there, and then my angle bracket. So I have that right there. Now this is saying I want to place an image on a page. Here, here is the source file that I want to do, that SRC. And then in quotation marks, I have the name of the file. Now I can only I only have to use the name of the file because this picture is in the same location as this web page. Okay? So let me just show you. I'm going to save it and then click our little icon right here. And here they are. Now, again, I have to remember that tree.png, number three, tree3 is a PNG, which is a different file type. 
As long as I have the file type named correctly, it'll show up. But I'm going to double click this and you'll see, I didn't have Firefox open, just a second here. You'll see that tree, tree one is on. Now tree one is really big. So I'm going to resize it. And all I have to do is double click it. It's going to open in a, in a program on a Mac called Preview. So give it a second. Here it is. Okay. And what we're going to do to change the size, which is way too big for a web page, we're going to say Tools, Adjust Size. Tools, Adjust Size. Click it. And right now, you, you want pixels. You do not want inches. You want pixels. And I'm going to make it uh, 350 pixels wide. Don't worry about the height. The height's going to constrain in proportion to it, and it won't so it won't get all stretchy on us. But make it make your pictures about, about 350 for this assignment. 350 pixels wide, and I'll click OK. Now it you think it's done it, but I have to save it. So I'm going to go Command S after I do it, and then all I have to do now it's saved. And all I have to do is reload, and sure enough, there's our image. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my images in first, and then I'm going to grab some Latin text. And uh, give me just a second here. Oop. So, we're going to um, go back into Text Wrangler here. I'm going to highlight this line. I'm going to hit the return key maybe a couple times and paste it. And I'm going to say tree2 because that's the second name of my file I went on. And then hit the return key a couple times. Say tree3. Now remember tree3 is what's called a PNG. It's basically a fireworks. It's a different file type. So I just want to make sure the computer knows that. If I have the right name, it'll show up. Again, I have five images. So this is going to be tree four. And then hit the return key and paste, command V, tree five. And now, now again, I haven't, haven't resized these. But let me go in. Here's my folder right here. I've already done tree one. Let me double click tree two and go tools, adjust size. Again, in pixels, make it about 350. And then once it does it, you have to save it. So go command S to save. So that's all set. And then I'll go to that tree three print PNG and I'll go tools, adjust size. And again, 350 wide. And once I do that again, Command S, almost done here, just kind of moving through everything. And Tools, Adjust Size, uh, 350, Command S after you do it. One more, here we go. That's a, that's a pretty cool shot. So um, Tools, Adjust Size. 350, save it. Okay, so now if I go in, here's my web page. I'm just going to reload it. And notice all my images are about the same width. They're all the same width. Some of them are um, more vertical than horizontal. That's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some Latin text and um, I'm going to go to Lipsum.com, where we've gone before, Lipsum.com. And I'm going to go down, and I've already generated five paragraphs of Latin text. I'm going to highlight one and copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my web page right here. And I'm going to place paragraphs of Latin text in between. Let's go two paragraphs in between each image. And I, I can use the same paragraph of text. I'm going to use the P tag. Remember, if I'm going to do paragraphs, I'm going to uh, open the paragraph and then close the paragraph, just like that. And then I'm going to paste 
uh, that paragraph of Latin text. Okay, now as I said, I wanted to go two uh, in between each image. So I'm going to copy the whole thing with the paragraph tags. I'm going to get my cursor down below that, paste it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two paragraphs um, like that and copy them. And now all I have to do is go between each image and paste them. And that way it'll give me two paragraphs. Two paragraphs should uh, make it nice and full. Let's do that. Okay, so uh, I've got all the paragraphs set up. It's all nice and Latin text. I have no idea what they're talking about. Um, someday I should find out what that is actually saying. And I will double click. And here's what it looks like now. Kind of a basic page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the tags in the next video. Uh, we're going to talk to the tags in the video and design them with CSS. Uh, we're going to give these images what are called class names and we're going to float them left or right. And that means if I float this one left, this, this paragraph will come up in this empty space right here. Right now the computer thinks that this image is taking up this whole space. Even though it's this wide, the computer doesn't recognize that. Okay, so in the next video that's what we're going to do. Thanks!